proof, consider the triangle OPQ with sides A, B and C and the angle A as shown. So we have O, P, Q. We have sides A, B, and C, and angle A. From coordinate geometry, the distance from P to Q is equal to the square root of B cos A minus C squared plus B sine A minus zero squared. So this comes from the length or distance formula, which is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So we're interested in the distance from P to Q. So this is the point Q, and it is C0. So we're going to let this be C on the x-axis, and obviously it matches up with 0 on the y-axis. So this is the point C0, and we label it x1, y1. Then we take the point P, and this is going to be B cos A, B sine A. And we label this x2, y2. So then we substitute into the formula. So we have the square root, square root, bracket x2. So we get bracket B cos A. So that's where the bracket B cos A comes from. Minus x1, which is C. And all of that is squared, plus bracket y2, which is b sine a, minus y1, which is 0, and all of that is squared. Then from the diagram, a squared is going to be equal to pq squared. So remember, this is the side a, but it's actually also p q. So a squared is the same thing as pq squared. And we found pq to be this, so we just have to square this. And squaring this will just cancel out the square root. So we bring down the b cos a minus c squared. We bring down the plus, and we bring down the b sine a minus 0 squared, but we can just forget about the 0 squared because 0 squared is 0. So we get b sine a squared. Next, we multiply out the brackets. So b cos a minus c squared is really b cos a minus c multiplied by b cos a minus c. And that gives us b squared cos squared a minus 2 times b cos a times c plus c squared. Then we bring down the plus. And then we have b sine a squared, which gives us b squared sine squared a. Then we simplify. So we see there's a b squared in the first term, in the b squared cos squared a term, and there's a b squared in the last term, in the b squared sine squared a term. So we factorise and take out the b squared as the highest common factor. So b squared into b squared cos squared a leaves us with cos squared a. And b squared into b squared sine squared a leaves us with plus sine squared a. Then we bring down the c squared, and then we multiply in the minus 2. So we get minus 2 times b cos of a times c, which gives us minus 2bc cos of a. And we know that cos squared a plus sine squared a equals 1. So b squared multiplied by 1 is just b squared. So we bring down the b squared, bring down the plus c squared, bring down the minus 2bc cos of a. So we end up with a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of a. And this is the cosine rule. So um, I'm going to show the proof in a bit more detail on the next slide if you need to see it. So using the cosine rule, if at all possible, call what we want to find A for a side or capital A for an angle. This may not always be possible, particularly when more than one quantity is to be found. So we need to try and let this A, this lowercase a, be the side we're looking for, or else this uppercase capital A be the angle we're looking for. There is no ambiguous case when using the cosine rule. This is because cos is positive in the first quadrant and negative in the second quadrant. So this is the proof done out a little bit more detailed. 
So we said at the start that a squared is equal to pq squared. And we know that pq is actually the square root of b cos a minus c squared plus b sine a squared. So the first thing we're going to do is apply the squared. So if we're going to square this entire expression, then really what's going to happen is we're going to cancel out the square root. So we bring down b cos a minus c squared, bring down the plus, and b sine a squared. Next we're going to multiply out the b cos a minus c squared, and this gives us b cos a minus c multiplied by b cos a minus c. And then we're going to multiply out the b sine a squared, which gives us b sine a multiplied by b sine a. Remember there's a plus in between. So b cos a minus c, what we're going to do is crack open the bracket. So we bring down the b cos a, and we stick on the other bracket, which is b cos a minus c. And then we bring down the minus c, and again stick on the other bracket, which is b cos a minus c. And then b sine a multiplied by b sine a. The b by b is b squared, the sine by sine is sine squared. So you get plus b squared sine squared a. These are all stuck together, no pluses in between. Then we multiply out these brackets. So b cos a times b cos a is b squared cos squared a. And b cos a multiplied by minus c is going to be minus b c cos of a. Then minus c multiplied by b cos of a is going to be minus b c cos of a. And minus c multiplied by minus c is plus c squared. And then we just bring down the b squared sine squared a. So next we're going to simplify. So we start off by factorizing. We see we've got a b squared in the b squared cos squared a term. And we've got a b squared in the b squared sine squared a term. So we group those two together. We bring down the plus c squared. And minus b c cos of a minus b c cos of a comes minus 2 b c cos of a. So we're going to factorize the two terms that we group together. So we see we've got the b squared common to both. So b squared becomes the HCF outside the bracket, the highest common factor. b squared into b squared cos squared a leaves us with cos squared a. And b squared into b squared sine squared a leaves us with sine squared a. Bring down the plus c squared, bring down the minus 2 b c cos of a. Now cos squared a plus sine squared a is a trigonometry identity and it's equal to 1. This is given to you in the formula book but it's a handy one to learn off by heart because it is used quite a lot. So this becomes 1. So get b squared multiplied by 1. Bring down the c squared. Bring down the minus 2bc cos of a. b squared multiplied by 1 is b squared. Bring down the c squared. Bring down the minus 2bc cos of a. And you're left with, don't forget the a squared was over here. a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of a. And this is the cosine rule.